today's Christmas Day, just getting a just a training session in. You know, even though it's a holiday, you know we got to stay stay the course. It is fight week, as I like to say, in terms of like the hard work and the hard training. The hay's in the barn already. You know, whether it's Las Vegas or Los Angeles, here or there, it's all the same. The plan is to win, so I, I feel very well prepared. It's been a great camp. Andre, how you doing? What's up? Good to see you, brother. What's up, man? Hey, good. Good, thank hey. you. Hey. Look at that drip. What's going on? How you doing? Sure. Those are fresh. I like them. What is this? This is, this is a little scotch and soda. This is unbelievable. <laughs> it's just it's a little homeless, a little class. Mike, what was your favorite part of 2018? Uh, my favorite part of 2018, uh, honestly, was probably the day I made the decision to go up to welterweight. That's been like, took a big stress off my shoulders, kind of gave me new light with my career. Like I'm starting to really enjoy this again. So it's, I, I'd say the day I decided to make my move up to welterweight, that's been the best, best, best day for me so far. What's your New Year's resolution for 2019? 2019, um, you know, I haven't thought that far yet. Probably, uh, probably work on proposing to my girlfriend. <laughs> Something like that. She kind of knows it's coming, but I think 2019 will be something geared to more towards my family. It's always, always about my career. <laughs> Is she here? She's right there. Wow, that's yeah. Well, now she knows for sure. Yep. <laughs> How long have you been together? Uh, almost two years. Wow. Yeah. She, She's the one. She is the one. How do you she, know? Because she gets along with my mom. <laughs> that's all that. that yeah. That's takes. dude. That's what. That's when you know if if the girl doesn't get along with your mom, it's not going to work out. Right. You know? Thank you, Mike. Yes, sir. Awesome. <laughs> Like, I'm not one of these guys that's just saying it, you know, like a lot of people, like people that have fought BJ, oh, BJ's my favorite fighter, and now I'm fighting him. I'm one of those guys that actually means it. I can send you pictures, Mark, of me in my sinister, natural-born killer, Carlos Condit t-shirt from when I was 21 years old. I'm 31 now, you know what I mean? So that says something. And, uh, you know, I'm genuinely a fan of the guy. I have a ton of respect for him, and it's made it easier to prepare because when you respect the guy the way I respect Carlos, that means you acknowledge his threats how dangerous he is, how good he is, his accomplishments. I have to prepare for that guy. I'm preparing for WEC Carlos Condit. I'm preparing for interim title challenge or title, title champion Carlos Condit. That's who I'm preparing for. I got a I got a tough fight ahead of me and I'm really excited for the opportunity. I respect the guy, but I got to beat him.